In this video, we are asked to calculate the molar solubility of AGI in one molar ammonia solution. So there are two uh, equilibrium reactions that are actually occurring here. One of them is the KSP of AGI, and that's going to be um, an equilibrium with AG plus and I minus. So here we have the KSP equation. And then immediately the AG plus that is formed can form a complex ion with ammonia. So two equilibrium reactions. The complex ion form has an equilibrium constant called KF. It's known as a formation constant. So AG plus uh, from uh, silver iodide forms a complex with NH3. A complex ion basically is a metal ion that coordinates or binds a molecule. And in this case, um, AG plus will coordinate and bind silver, uh, excuse me, AG plus will coordinate and bind two NH3 molecules forming a complex ion. Uh, these have equilibrium constants that are known as KF, and they tend to be very, very large in magnitude. So if you look at our table here, we can see some values of AG of some complex ions. The first one is the one that we're interested in, as you can see here, the AG plus forms a complex with two ammonia ions. And um, actually the complex ion formation constant, that equilibrium constant is very large, 1.5 times 10 to the seventh. So two NH3s complex would be silver and the whole complex has a positive charge. Again, notice most of these have a very high formation constant. So immediately after you get AG plus, it's gonna form a complex with the NH3. Actually, it will form a complex with two NH3s. So first thing, we'll write our KSP equation, which is silver iodide is in an equilibrium with silver ion and iodide ion. That's KSP for this parent, the soluble solid, silver iodide. And this KSP has a magnitude of 8.9 times 10 to 8.3, excuse me, times 10 to the minus 17, a very, very small number, very, very small. So very little of it. Uh, it's going to go to the right-hand side of the equation, but some of it will. Some of it will. A very small amount will, and whatever small amount that gives you AG plus will immediately form a complex with NH3 according to this equation shown here for the complex ion. So let's write that equation for the complex ion formation. So we write the formation of the complex ion, and let's go ahead and add these two reactions. When you add those two reactions, it's important to recognize that you multiply the equilibrium constants to get the new equilibrium constant. Also, when you add the two reactions, the AG plus cancels, and we will get, as stated before, an equilibrium constant, which is the product of KSP and KF. So we added the two reactions, and we'll get our new equilibrium constant, which is the multiplication of KSP and KF. And that is going to be, um, on my calculator, 1.0 times 10 to the minus 9. So now we'll do our ice table. We have one molar of NH3, and it will go minus 2x. Okay, we're going to see the reaction going to the right here to get our complex ion concentration at equilibrium, which really tells us the solubility of silver ion in the NH3. Uh, we don't care about the solid, so solids have no bearing on our equilibrium. And this will be plus X of the complex ion. Okay, we're dealing with the reaction going to the right. And we also get plus X for the I minus, though we really don't care about the I minus here. We care about the silver ion and uh, it forming a solution with NH3, the solution having the composition of the complex ion. So at equilibrium, we have one minus two X, X and X. Let's plug it into our equilibrium expression the products over reactants. Okay, don't forget to square the denominator of the NH3 concentration, uh, again, uh, because we have two moles of NH3. So at equilibrium, we have X and X for the complex ion and I minus, that gives us X squared, and the concentration of NH3 will be one minus two as whole squared. And the K, which is what we calculated, is gonna be 1.0 times 10 to the minus nine for this reaction. Just want to uh, change gears here. Actually, instead of X, let's uh, really put in the accurate uh, variable, and that's S. S, which stands for solubility. Um, really, we're talking about solubility here. You can go with X 
Uh, but uh, in most of these problems with KSPs, we will go with S, which stands for solubility. So instead of X, I'm going to use S. So uh, we have here 1 times 10 to the minus 9 divided by S squared over 1 minus 2S whole squared. And let's take the square root of both sides of the equation. Square root of 1.0 times 10 to the minus 9 is 3.16 times 10 to the minus 5. And the square root of that uh, on the right-hand side is just S divided by 1 minus 2S. So we'll solve for S here to get our final answer. In this case, we will use the distributive property to distribute the uh, number across 1 minus 2s, so that's 3.16 times 10 to the minus 5 minus 6.32 times 10 to the minus 5s. That has to equal to s. And now isolating s, um, s plus, we'll move that term to the right-hand side, so it becomes s plus 6.32 times 10 to the minus 5 uh, is practically just s. It's, uh, so we will get S is equal to 3.16 times 10 to the minus 5 molar moles per liter, which is 0 0.00040 is 3.16 molar. So that's the correct answer of the solubility of AG plus in ammonia. So um, basically, to summarize this problem, we have the KSP reaction, which gives us Ag+. Immediately, the Ag+, will form a complex ion and solubilize, and that solubilization is this complex ion.